two, problem solved. Now what you got for lunch? <laughs> That's not it at all. And we're having smoked turkey uh, with sliced avocado and rye. Is that okay? Mmm, sounds delish. But if it's uh, not the hibiscus, what is it? It's Nakia. She's pushing me away from florals. But that's your bread and butter. And my marmalade. This is very distressing. So, you push back like this. Woman pushes, man pushes back. It happened throughout history, and sometimes if I swear to I'll show you. Like that. Hey, what's the big idea? Hey, sis, get away from me. You're crazy. Did you have a martini before you came over here? You'll survive. Totally absurd. And pardon my saying so, but you're very slow with those sandwiches. Oh, uh, well, but, but that's not even everything. What? Another problem? I'm going to have to start charging you out with it. Come on. She wants to have a serious talk this afternoon. Now you're in for it. I guess that's the talk you've been avoiding for a year and a half. What? Instead of the Simonude modeling? I'm a good omen, Craig. What do you think about it? I don't know. But if you had to guess, uh, was it whether to use umber or burnt sienna when you're painting her nipples? <laughs> no, no, no. They're, they're pinkish anyway. I. But hate, no, it's probably about our relationship. I hate it when they want to talk about our relationship. <laughs> well, I loathe it. Well, I both loathe and detest it. Not to mention I have an aversion to it. Did I mention that? No, you didn't. But listen, I'm seriously uptight about this. And you're not helping things, sitting, standing there eating that sandwich. Well, excuse me. You did invite me over for lunch, didn't you? Listen, I don't need a ninth grade attitude from you. <laughs> you're my best friend, and you're supposed to be supportive. Bring. Bring. <laughs> now, you might wonder uh, why I have a cavalier attitude towards Craig's dilemma. You ever have a friend who needs your help in some critical situation, huh? Uh, and you don't know quite what to do? You know, you know what I'm talking about then. I could see this coming. Uh, even you do, sir, right? Uh, Nakia wants to move in with Craig. I mean, it's natural. You've been with someone a while. You know how they feel. You've kissed, uh, maybe more. Uh, but with Nakia and Craig, she even knows how the paint smells on his vest after a day's working, for Pete's sake. Now, what did I just do? I told him to push back, right? Is that the right advice? What the heck do I know? Maybe the key will make him happy. Who am I to judge? I mean, right? But judge, I did. Uh, but forgive me in advance, will ya? I happen to think that a bigger commitment will shackle my free-spirited friend. He's a man on a precipice, and he needs to be pushed in some direction. And I'm the pusher man. Uh, I think I made a mistake, though. I hope to God he doesn't take my advice. Oh, my God. That's her now. Hello? Craig, it's me. Gwyneth. Gwyneth Ellsworth. Remember me from high school? Oh my gosh, gorgeous Gwyneth Ellsworth. Is that you? <laughs> it's awfully nice of you to remember my nickname. Yes, it's me. How have you been all these years? Oh, a thousand things. Just hold on a sec. Marty, I don't believe it. This is the prettiest girl in my class at Columbia. My god, I don't believe who I'm talking to. Pinch me. <laughs> I'll look her up. <laughs> Actually, I've been painting uh, steadily for, for about 20 years, uh, going back and forth between florals and nudes, you know. I've been chosen to exhibit at the Via, uh, Venice Biennale this year. Yes, I just read about that in the Enquirer. Congratulations. Thank you. And what have you been up to all these years? <laughs> Nothing much. Just swimming the English Channel. I'll be the first civilian woman in outer space early next year. My real estate company just signed on to rehab 20 square blocks of Washington Heights in New York. We are bringing back affordable, middle-class housing to the city. Wow, that sounds about five minutes' work for a superwoman like you. <laughs> oh, I'm just very fortunate, what can I say? But I didn't call you out of the blue to prattle on about myself. Hey, you can prattle on from now till October. There's no such month as October! Okay. What? Oh, well, that was just my garbage disposal. <laughs> okay. So, you're in Elkins Park, right? Yeah, I did it say that in the paper? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, and where do you live? Oh, it depends on the season, you know. Rittenhouse Square, the plaza in New York, my flat on the Champs-Élysées. 
But Craig. Uh, Gwynny, if I might call you that after so short a chat. Certainly. I was wondering if I could stop by with an idea. What kind of an idea? Oh, I'd rather tell you in person. Hmm, okay, sure. So how about I stop by today at, say, three? Oh, no, I'm afraid that won't work. I have someone over here posing uh, for nudes until four. <laughs> Yes, just as often as I do florals. Well, in my opinion, that's an awful waste of your considerable talents. But uh, how about 4.30? You're in luck. I'm extremely flexible today. 4.30? Hmm. 4.30? Uh, no, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. I'm eager to hear about your idea and to see if you're as lovely as I remember. Well... You can get your folks up about that idea. As to my looks, well, I'm afraid I've aged terribly. Yeah. Um, expect uh, a faded hag with billowy jowls and um, huge, huge thighs. Huge. <laughs> no, no, Gwynny. Uh, that's a hoax and an insult to the reality, I'm sure. Oh, my Gwynny. Oh, Gwynny. <laughs> Think what you will, Craig. Mm, Craigy. You can have a... I can do that. See you soon. Ta ta. Ta ta. Ta ta to you and Nakia. No, my friend, you're making all the wrong bets. Though I must say, this Gwyneth Ellsworth is quite a mouthful. Look at this photo. Oh my God. Well. I